Here we're asked to expand this logarithm. Let's first notice this exponent here, and let's use the property that says we can write that exponent as a coefficient. So 3 times this logarithm, log base 2, a times the square root of b all over uh, c squared. Okay, so now let's look at the division right here. We know division inside the logarithm is equivalent to subtraction of the logs. But notice here it's three times this logarithm, so I'm going to make sure to expand that within a parentheses. That will leave me with log base 2 of a times the square root of b minus log base 2 of c squared. Now inside here we have multiplication, so we can certainly expand that three times. Let's be a little careful here. When I expand that I have log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of the square root of b. And then here's a minus log base 2 of c squared. We have another exponent, so let's bring that down as a coefficient. 2 times log base 2 of c. Now we have to worry about the square root of b. Now there's no explicit property for square roots, so what I'm going to do first here is rewrite that as an exponent. So we got log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of, now square root of b written in exponential form is b to the 1 half power minus 2 log base 2 of c. And that's how you deal with roots in general. Convert your root into a, a fractional exponent and then use the property that says exponents multiply in front of the log as coefficients. Okay, so that leaves us with log base 2 of a plus 1 half times log base 2 of b. Okay, minus 2 times log base 2 of c. And then for the last step here, what I would do is distribute the 3. Okay, so that would leave me with my final answer. Log 3 times log base 2 of a plus 3 times 1 half is 3 halves times log base 2 of b, and then 3 times negative 2 is minus 6 times log base 2 of c.